I am so excited about this particular dresser and I wanna thank Birch Living for sponsoring this video. We're heading out. I found this dresser on Facebook Marketplace. We're gonna head over and pick it up. And I got this thing for $40 plus a nightstand and a mirror. It is like oak, some oak veneer. I'm not quite sure exactly. We're gonna find out. And oh, isn't it the coolest? The legs are my favorite part. They're like these little pencil legs. It looks like oak. I'm gonna check this drawer out here and see. Looks like oak to me. Solid drawers. We have dovetail. Ooh, really nice. All the drawers work really well. I tested those out while I was there. Not that that would deter me from buying it at $40 for this and the nightstand that goes with it. And the nightstand's quite large too. So it's, it's pretty much like a separate, um, a totally separate piece of furniture you know like as, as far as like sellability goes um, okay so i am not sure it looks like there's there's wood grain going in different directions you guys tell me is that a solid wood piece on the edge I'm not sure there's definitely quite a bit of damage on the top of the dresser and like water stains and um just where the the finish is peeling up. It looks like maybe this was refinished at some point. And what they did when they put the lacquer on is they got a bunch of debris in their finish. And so the lacquer or clear coat that they used on the top of uh, the wood is all like bumpy when you touch it. So I literally have to sand this whole thing. And I'm stoked because guys, I got a new sander. So if you want to skip right ahead to the sanding stuff, that's at four minutes and 46 seconds when I talk about my brand new sander. Um, I'm really excited about it. And then, and I want to apologize guys, I've got a big um, ad in the middle of this video um, from Birch Living. So, you know, bear with me. <laughs> I, I do appreciate you guys supporting, uh, watching through the ads and stuff like that. I don't, you know, expect it. You don't have to, but I do appreciate it. And um, I am trying to stick with sponsors that are just 30 seconds. And this one ended up being a little bit longer than that. Um, but anyway, so I'm just cleaning up the dresser. This I didn't mention it, but this dresser is actually for my friend who is getting married. I'm giving it to her as a wedding present. So I'm like really excited. I want to thank Birch Living for sponsoring this video. What is Birch Living? It's a premium mattress and a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally conscious. Their non-toxic mattresses are made right here in America and are crafted with organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. Birch Lux takes the comfort, luxury, and safety of the original Birch mattress to the next level. Crafted with eight different layers of organic cashmere, organic wool, organic cotton, and 100% natural latex. It's specially created created with breathability, cooling, and support in mind, and offers increased airflow and targeted zoned lumbar support. The natural materials keeps me cool and comfortable while I sleep. It was important for me to choose a birch mattress that's made with organic and natural materials because I feel really hot when I sleep, so the organic materials keep me cool and regulate my body temperature. I also like that in addition to being a better mattress for me, Birch is committed to being better for the planet. I love that throughout the creation of their mattresses, Birch ensures that their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, a premium upgrade to the original well-loved Birch natural mattress, and I've had it for a few weeks now, and the thing that I like most is that you just feel so supported, but it's also really soft. I love how easy it was to buy this versus going to a store, and the ease of setup was really great. I love my Birch Lux mattress and I think you would too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Birch. You can use the link below or go to birchliving.com forward slash black sheep for $400 off your mattress plus two free pillows. 
Yay, it's my new sander. I got this from Lowe's. It was a sale. Uh, I think it was around $60. And this is supposed to be very gentle when you're sanding. So not a lot of vibration on your wrists and things like that for when you're sanding for long periods of time. It's got like a cushy pad compared to other sanders. And in this price range, uh, it is marked very high. So I think a lot of us would love to have a surf pref sanding system or, or something elite like that, but it's not in the budget for me and um, at this time. So I think this is uh, going to be a really good sander for me for right now. But look at that cush. That's pretty good. And now also if your um, pad gets flat over time, which it will, then you can just replace it. It has these little sanding discs that, you know, click just Velcro on. And yeah, I'm really excited to give this thing a try. I heard a lot of good things. Actually from many of you in my comments said that this was a great sander. Okay, here's the test. Ooh. It is really, it's removing this finish really well. It's light on my hand. I'm doing it one-handed very easily. I'm not applying pressure. It's doing all the work on its own. Guys, I'm very happy with this. Very happy. I'll keep you posted as I continue to use it on different projects and stuff, but this is really, really nice. I'm hoping that I can get around like edges and corners and stuff and not have to do so much hand sanding. Okay, so here's the test trying it in those little edges. That, that was working really well. Getting in the nooks and crannies. It's doing a great job on straight lines. I'm so happy with this. So right now I have an 80 grit in that just came with it from the box, but I ordered a package of 120 grit that I'm going to be using next. So you might want to try a 60 grit, I guess, if you want to really rip through something. But here was the before, and that above is the after. Pretty amazing. That didn't take me long at all. I'm I'm super happy with this. Ah, Teddy had to pop in. He can't hang out too much during sanding. <laughs> obviously for obvious reasons so like I said in the beginning the top of this dresser had a lot of damage and it looked like somebody had maybe refinished it at some point and there were a lot of little debris pokey things in the finish so when you ran your hand across the top it was not smooth at all it was very bumpy and so I'm gonna have to sand lightly sand this whole piece and, and this is also why I wanted to get this sander. I, I read in a lot of forums and things like that that this was a great sander for scuff sanding because of the padding on it, it and it covers so, so much surface, you know, with the big round head. It, it's really great for just scuff sanding your whole surface. So this is what I'm going to be using it for a lot as well, is just scuff sanding my whole surface to make sure that my primer adheres really well. Now this is, a, don't do this, okay? This is a dumb idea that I had. I had some leftover paint that was free, and I thought, hey, well, maybe I can just, because it's oil-based, I can use it as a primer on these um, bare wood spots that I sanded through. So a lot of times when you sand through like this, obviously you need to go in and prime it, or it's going to show up a different sheen when you paint it with your paint. So what happened here, though, <laughs> we'll see, right? <laughs> it did cover the spots. Then I have my Wiz cabinet and doors, rollers, and my paintbrush, and I'm getting to it.
You know what this is for? This is for my friend who's getting married. Ooh, that's pretty, huh? Yeah, pretty. Let me brush it in real quick. Ooh. Ooh, look at Ooh. that. Can I do it again? Okay, let's do it again. Okay. Okay, wipe. Ooh, Liza! Ooh, ooh. I guess it's fun. All right. There we go. It's pretty. You know what? We need to get it on there a little bit more. Okay. I'm doing it by myself. Okay. Um, now this one. You can take this knob off, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Hold the bottom. Nice work. All right. The only one to get it away fast. All right, you know what? We can move on to the next one. After I put the drawers back in the dresser to just take a peek at it, how it was looking, I realized that I had made a huge mistake in painting the base that I feel like that's the part of this dresser that really sings and I just painted right over it and big mistake. So luckily this paint takes a while to cure and so it's not fully cured yet and so the sander is really able to take it away so easily and it didn't gum up my sander or anything which I was interested to find out. Uh, if it would or not and then you can see how well the sanders working around the um, legs you know like I'm not sponsored by Bosch at all um, the, the, I just bought the sander with, you know and because of the recommendations of it and stuff like that if you have a better recommendation for a sander definitely let me know I'd also love to just like take a poll let me know what sander you guys use <laughs> just out of curiosity what, what sander system are the majority of us furniture flippers using? I'm curious. And But overall, this one's a really good one if you don't have one or if you're looking to upgrade. Usually halfway through uh, painting a dresser, I kind of take a peek at it. I'll put some hardware up to it and just get a feel for it and see if I'm liking the direction that I'm headed before adding like the third and fourth coats of paint and poly and all that stuff. I realized that um, the dresser was a little bit too dark. It was, And, you know, my friend had said black or charcoal and... Um, you know, charcoal makes so much more sense to go with this brown color. It looks like so much nicer. I had a lot more in my head. I think I would have naturally done like a super light wood and then black. It just because I've done that look a lot of times and it sells really well for me. The other thing is because I stained these top drawers, I didn't want them to yellow. You know, oak is notorious for yellowing over time and stuff like that. Um, I didn't want them to yellow, so I'm using a wax to seal the wood and just for that buttery smooth feeling because I just love the way that feels. And let's take a look at the before. Here she was. Hey, beautiful like this also, but let's take a look at the after. Ah, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. It's like masculine. It's boho. It's rock and roll. It is exactly what she wants, which is the most important thing. You can see there are a couple spots that I need to touch up. And so I'll go back and touch that up. But here it was before and here's the after super happy with this uh i just oh it's so cool thank you all for watching this video thanks for supporting this channel you guys mean the world to me and i'll see you guys in the next one bye